Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, people, and welcome back to another video of Julian, Julian Ruiz's channel. And, and for today's video, I'll be giving you a, a tour of my dorm here at Southern Illinois University of Carbondale. They all, because if you are, are interested in, in transferring to so SAU of Carbondale, then this will be helpful for, for you. Or in case if you're a junior or senior in high school, this will also be very handy for you. I'll go over st stuff from from laundry to all the stuff I have to share with my dorm mate to what do I have, all that jazz. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, starting off, this is where you enter into your dorm. It's nothing too crazy there, but yes, that's that's one of my personal towels. This uh, clean clean up dishes. This is the curtain. Just in case you hear someone knocking on your door, you just look outside. Here is nothing too fancy. And these are these right here are two desks. Which you might be asking, why are there two desks? And that's where the elephant in the room comes in, and then that's the king size bed. So originally, when you first move in, there are two there are bunk beds here. There's one desk below one bed, one bed, and then another desk below another bed. But because because starting I think last year or the year before, I I guess it occurred to me if I'm wrong, they decided that the all, this entire room here here can be used all for one person so i just and they said that you can turn your bump beds into a king size bed and that's clearly what i did it did right here because i combined you can see here like both the mattress here and right here are both combined together and you might be wondering aren't you gonna feel a gap between between the bed well i i've been sleeping here for over a month now and uh, there's no i haven't felt any gaps or anything between them because between between the bed so it's a so it's very helpful too and it is a and there is a lot of room here so of course there because there is plenty of space just for one person. In fact, you can probably squeeze one or two more people on here in case if you guys are willing to sleep in one king size bed to, together. But literally, I got all the space all to myself, all to myself, and that's where my TV's at, just to watch the Roku, watch my Roku with Netflix, Hulu, all that jazz. And yep, because if you're looking for, if you want. After a long day's work and you just want to go back and relax, just go hop into your king size bed and just stretch your arms and legs. It's very rewarding. As far as what these desks are reserved search for, like these have stuff like pictures of fa family and amiibo. Yes, my amiibo collection is small. I just started collecting last year. And for those of you who, who knew, me, knew me from high school, like you know that I dressed up as Darth Vader all four, four years and then the joke joker in the last year for the spirit week and no offense to you guys you guys did your job just fine but you guys need to retire um because so cause, but this desk right here is where all the stuff is being done so this is where i go on go on zooms go on um meetings for get the meetings for classes and it's nothing too crazy there's a picture of my brother and my dad there's a picture of my mom over in the corner and over and for as well, I don't really use this desk to do work in case if I have to do a group project and someone, and someone comes over to do the work with, with me, then they just sit, sit here. It's nothing too crazy. Over here, here there's a dress. Because this is a dresser. It's not a nightstand. It was originally placed over here where my, where my hampers and stuff are, are at. But but because the dresser was, was hitting was rubbing against my clothes that are hanging up here, such as my sweatshirts, my bun nuts, all that. Jazz jazz um it, i decided to move my dresser over there and this is where i keep stuff stuff like my laundry which you, you, i'll show you where you do your laundry in a few minutes and this is also where i keep stuff like cups bowls silverware plates napkins every everything i need just in case if i have some food food here um and the and because this dresser was moved here this is now used reserved as a nightstand and and this is where i charge all my stuff such as my jbl speaker my phone that's what my what well, phone chargers for my Apple watch charger, then my Mac, my Mac, and then this is the this is where I also plug in another lamp here. I wake up and I see a picture of my family. They're right in my line of sight, and it's all and it all feels so well organized. And in terms of storage, you, you can put like any thing in any anywhere you want. No one doesn't have anything. You can put stuff in here, it's here. Well, you got the chest. So there's enough space. There's enough storage in here for you, for you to lose one small, small thing. Over here, this is the microwave and the mini fridge. This is not mine. Don't immediately guess that. But you can, you have the option to rent the microwave and the mini fridge, fridge out, and it is very, very helpful. Although I haven't used the microwave much, I only used it for 
popcorn, which I had last week. The mini freezer, I even put anything in here. I gotta buy some ice cream or something just to get that, make some is that stuff in there. And then in here, I just leave stuff like milk and I leave water in here. Here, I don't put that much. It's a, and yes, it is a small mini fridge and mini freezer, but again, for one person, it's not that bad. Just to just accept it if it's not like your typical giant fridge back home. Because oh, over here on the bottom, this is where I keep my extra water bottles. This is where it's, these are my weights, which it's nothing too special. And this is my shoe rack where I keep all my shoes. And you might, and before you ask, what's all that stuff on the bottom? That's all those, all those pieces back there. Those were all for for the bump beds. That's what helps create the bump beds. But because I didn't need all those parts to create a king size bed, I put them back underneath here. Now over here, you actually get your own personal sink, so that's a plus. Because me, I tend to use um, because it, it, the sink a lot, especially in the mornings when I'm getting ready for classes or or whatnot and, it, and it's not that bad I, and this is also where i do my dishes as as well like it's i mean it's not like a huge space but it's not but it's not that bad in here this is where you go you also have some storage to put stuff like the order the order in here spray all that all that jazz whatever you want um and also also as i mentioned earlier this is where i keep my tv my game console such as my switch and then my playstation's in the back because it, and in here is where I keep all my soap, like my laundry soap, my shampoo, my body, body soap, all the all the stuff that's clean, all, all, all goes right in. Now, as far as what you need need to share with your doormate, there's not nothing much here. Which, by the way, this mirror I got from Target. Yes, I know this is going to become Target mania. Um, because all you have to share is just this, and that's the bathroom. It, the toilet is right there, and then this is the shower. It's, it's actually it's actually pretty big for this one. Well, one person. It's not that giant shower, but it's but it's for one person. It's not that bad. And but, and the current's large here because the the original current that was here it was way too short and water was getting getting out of the shower so bad and it and it literally flooded the bathroom down here. Because but because, but thanks to online shopping, me and my doormat got another got another curtain. Which speaking of, like that door there looks like my doormate's room. So. So yeah, overall, the only thing you need to share is just a shower and a toilet, and that's basically it. It's not, because at least you don't have to share st stuff like a sink or a, or a bed or, or whatnot. But yeah, that's kind of what the what this whole you know, dorm has, at least for what I have. That's what it all has to offer. In terms of garbage, you cause there are a lot of cans here, like this can and this can here were here when I got when I got here and these three kids over here are the ones I bought so this is, so yeah but like if, if you're one of those people who doesn't like to throw out your gar garbage every day I'm like you'll be happy to hear that you don't have to empty out the trash for a while if you buy all, all these cans which you might be asking where do you th th where do you empty out your cans well let's go first off if you have small stuff like bottles or like bags of chips that you want to throw you can just throw them out right here however like all stuff like food like big tra trash cans you throw them out over because you throw them out over there in that little bin or they're just over the gate and then you'll be all good that's where all the garbage is at but be forewarned squirrels can be in there so just keep a heads up when you go down this is the back of the of brown hall like that door you see see all the way in the back it, and there because that's that's where i like come out most of the time because my room is literally located right there you, i don't know if you can see I live on the first floor, as I mentioned earlier, but if you just want to like go outside Brown Hall, you're waking to something so beautiful like this. It's a, because there are a lot of lakes out here, which I'll go, I'll post a separate video of me, of me just giving a tour on one of the trails that I always walk, walk on. It's like it's located somewhere over there. I'll show you more, more than in another video, but because what more, more could you want if you wake up every morning and you just try, and to stretch it and inhale some fresh air than than this because it's, it's especially beautiful when the sun slowly s setting Al although when the sun sets it gets really dark out here which i'll post on the, i'll also post up also on that a walking walking out walking at night vlog but yeah seriously this is something that you can't can't resist when you move to brown hall i mean yes i've been to other friends to doors and other halls and, and they're a little nicer specifically with the floors and they might have more stuff to offer but this this is something that you can't cannot resist if you if you're feeling too stressed over work just come 
just come and sit at this table over here and just stare at the and just stare at the at the water and just close your eyes and just relax it's, per, it's perfect out here one big thing about Southern Illinois University of Carbondale is that there is a lot of basketball b b basketball courts out here and not just here but there are plenty more more throughout the campus I'll go more into that in another in a separate video slash vlog that I'll do in the future but yeah for those of you for those of you basketball crazies out there that love basketball you'll be happy to hear that they have plenty of as well courts out out here now the next thing that we're gonna go see is where you is where to do your laundry first off in order to get in you need to have your always have your keys out scan that in here click and you're inside these are a couple of vending machines that i never never touch because what's the point of spending money on that The laundry room is in the is in the basement here. Cause I'm lucky because I'm on the first floor, so it's not that far from me. And yeah, this is the this is the basement. It's, this is kind of an entertainment area. There's a pool table. There's a desk for I guess it, it, to do some studying while you're there. There's a smart board board there or, or whatever board board over there. Correct me if I'm wrong. And yeah, this is where all the cleaning's done. You have three washers on the on the left, and on the right across from them, there are three dryers out here. Although, if you're one of those people who likes to customize how long you want your who get the laundry get the washed or dried, it'll just give you a time. Like I've washed my clothes here every Sunday, and it's always 33 minutes to wash and 45 minutes to dry and dry. It's not a problem for me, but if you're one of those people who likes to customize time, then just keep that in mind. But yep. This is where you do, do your wash it and dry clean, cleaning. It's not, it's not that. One last thing I forgot to mention is that yes, each room has their own air conditioning unit. It's controlled right here, and obviously, like you know, don't it, like it's not simple enough. But yeah, everyone, one has their own individual AC unit. But keep in mind is that the maintenance guys told all of us not to, not to overload the machine. Just keep it like a low level. Like for example, it's in the mid 70s right now here at SIU so I just kept they don't want you to go all the way up to max and I keep it in the middle like right here and, and, and you'll be in Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this. If you have any questions or things I might might have missed that you want me to co cover, please comment below and then I'll re respond to your qu to your questions. Thank you so much for, for watching again and take care. Have a nice rest of your day, night, or afternoon.